Hi everyone. I want to introduce you to another idea that I've had to support the learning in this crisis at the moment. Many students at home are feeling overwhelmed with the learning that they have to achieve as a result of not going to school. So we need to give them a mechanism where they can express their worries to the teachers if they need to. So what I've done is I've created a system that will allow you as teachers to find out what their worries might be. It's done with Google Classroom and using Google Forms and Google Sheets, we can get the children to complete a simple one question Google Form that then gets recorded in a spreadsheet and sent to the relevant teacher who can then deal with that worry. So take a look at how I've done it and how you can implement it in your school. So let's look at how we can set up a worry button in Google Classroom. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Drive and we're going to create a form. So I'm in a folder in Google Drive here. I'm going to go to new. And we're going to create a new Google form. So let's give this Google form a title, the worry button. And then I'm just going to click in title here to give the document a title name and then my question would be what is your worry and we want to go over to the questions here and we want this to be a paragraph question that will give the students a little bit more space for them to answer their question and we want to make it required now because this will be part of your school you don't have to ask them what their name is because you can actually record their email address and then you can work out their name from their email address so let's click on settings and let's collect email addresses and we want to keep everything else as it is okay you could tick this box here so the students have got the opportunity to edit their answer after submission but for this particular one, I'm going to leave that unticked and then press save. So the only people that can actually fill this form in are those that are part of my education domain. So anybody outside of my school cannot fill this form in. They do not have access to it. And as a result of that, it says here the form is automatically collecting email addresses of the users. OK, so. That's all now set up. That's all I need in my worry button form. Now let's go back to Google Classroom. Let's go to Classwork and create a new material. Now we're going to use a material because we don't necessarily want this to be an assignment. So let's choose material and we're going to put the worry button. And then I'm just going to give a description of what this is all about. OK. So now what we want to do is we want to add from our Google Drive, we want to add that form. So let's find the form, so the worry button and then click add. OK, so there is my worry button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to topic and then create topic. This is going to be. Now, if you're in a school and this is going to one class, what you may want to do is click on this and select all the classes that this worry button is going to go to because you don't want to be setting this up for just individual classes. You want it to be school wide. So what I would do is I would choose somebody that's going to set this up that has access to maybe every class in your school and then all of the classes just need to be ticked and then this worry button will go to every single class. Then we can post. So there is my worry button all nicely set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Google form and I'm going to click on responses. And then I'm going to choose this button here to create a spreadsheet for those responses. So let's click that and create a spreadsheet. Here is my spreadsheet. So I've got three fields here, the timestamp, the email address of the student and what the worry is. So I'm just going to enlarge these columns like so. OK, so anything now that comes from that form will be recorded in this spreadsheet. Now let's go to a student account where we can submit a worry. So this is a student account in my stream here and let's go to classwork. 
So here is my worry button. Now, if you've got lots of different topics here, which you may have for your classroom, you can drill down very easily by clicking on the topics over here. So that will take you straight to the worry button. You click on that and then you can click worry button. That's going to open up the Google form. And my worry is. There's my worry and then I'm going to submit as a student. Now that has been submitted. Obviously, the student has got the opportunity to add another worry if they want to. So let's now go back to my teacher view and see what the teacher sees. So this is my teacher view. And you can see here straight away, there is an entry into my spreadsheet. It was done at this time. It was done by this particular user. And here is my worry. Now, at the moment, this is set up. So the teacher would have to go into this spreadsheet to have a look and see what the worries are. But what we really want to do is for the teacher to be emailed when somebody submits a worry. So let's set that up now. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure that the person that's going to get notified is part of this spreadsheet. So we can either share this or we can make sure that this spreadsheet is part of a shared drive. So it's up to you how you do this. I'm going to actually share it and I'm going to share it with this address here. And I'm just going to give a short note. And let's send that. OK, so now let's go to that particular teacher. All right, because that's a teacher that we've sent it to. It may be somebody on your senior leadership. So let's go to that account. So this is my senior leadership account here. We can see we've got an email saying that we've been invited. So let's open that. We open that spreadsheet. And now what we need to do is set the notification. So any new entries that come into this spreadsheet, this particular senior leadership member will get an email. So let's go to tools, notification rules. And what I want to do is when a user submits a form, I want to be notified. OK, and then we need to say when this wants to happen. OK, so email straight away or a daily digest. So if we do it straight away, then we know that there's been a worry straight away. So I'm going to click this one and then we're going to click save and then done. Any new entry that comes into this, this particular teacher will get notified. So let's go to our email and back to our inbox and let's keep an eye on this as we add another worry. So let's go to the student view. Here's my student view. So let's close this one down and we go back to our worry and we click on the worry button. We add another worry. Let's submit that. OK, so now let's go back to our senior leadership email. So there you can see an email has come through to this particular person and now we can click on it and then we can see that the user has made a change. So we can click on the spreadsheet and then we can have a look and see that there is the new entry nicely highlighted. So that's how you can set up a worry button using Google Classroom, Google Forms and Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.